I was getting a little worried there. Uh, well, at least I made her out. I'm not, uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing any off-roading anytime soon. <laughs> not with this bike anyway, just to cover my ass. I don't like getting stranded like that and friggin' ruining it. I'm, guys, honestly, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, man. <laughs> I'm gonna follow you out. Well, we'll, we'll stop at Galisto with you, though. Oh yeah, I guess that trail, uh, easy trail is on still on my phone. I wonder how much battery life it eats. I guess we'll see when I stop, eh? Who knows, maybe it'll be dead. When I get home, I'll have to upload it to that site. I'll make a link and I'll post it up at the video. It'll be the first time I've done it. See how that uh, see how that app works. Actually, a pretty neat little uh, neat little thing to have. Anytime I do my little road trips or. Whatever, like next year when we do the, uh, the East Coast YouTube road trip out to Newfoundland, I can uh, I can leave that on my phone all the time. Well, at least while we're in the truck <laughs> and the bike, yeah, if iffy. I don't know how much power I'll have. I'll have to probably wire in a a cigarette lighter or something like that for like a little inverter or something, so I can always charge my phone while I'm riding. Make a little a little inverter or something in my tank bag kind of thing so I can always charge my phone so um, yep I'm thinking within the next uh, maybe I don't know, I'd say within the next few weeks or so I think I'm gonna head out and I'm gonna go and visit uh, H0042 I'm gonna go visit his mother I'm gonna have her reupholster and uh, like refoam, reupholster my other seat pan. Gonna make it uh, a lot wider, make it more for uh, like a touring seat, so I can switch seats depending if I'm doing a road, if I'm road tripping or not. What the hell? A bus? Is that a bus or a camper bus? Oh shit, that's an old bus turned into a camper. Awesome. I thought it was a freaking touring bus there for a second. What the frig's a touring bus doing back in here? I'm surprised I made it out. Friggin' right, man. That's awesome. I'm in a good mood now. I was in a shit mood. I figured I wrecked my friend's day. But actually, it was actually a, this was a good thing. The Lama Smurf had to get back into town. He's got his uh, brand new tire he's got to get put on his bike. And, uh, well, Steve, he's almost out of fuel. This made it a good thing that my... Uh, my bike hates me. So yeah, I think I'm going to turn off that every trail when I get to the gas station. That's what I'm going to do. i got to get down to the bottom of this friggin' battery issue before a friggin' Iron Man comes up. I won't be able to ride with the guy, man. Well, if I do, I'll have to take the four-wheeler if it comes down to it. Seems kind of shitty to have the guy come all the way up here to go riding. 
and not be able to ride. Well, <laughs> a whole bunch of well, 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 I could justify everything here. Um, he will be coming up with his wife. I think it's like an anniversary type thing anyway, so it's not too bad. Woo. Are you just shutting it off? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just fucking off my GPS. I've never really used it before, so I was just playing. You do know where we are, though? Yeah, I know where we are. Oh, okay. What? You, sh you sure? Oh, are you done? Are you okay? You're, you're gonna ride now, or are you gonna fuck with it? Oh, okay. Okay. I wonder if my bike just got too hot. No, that's not it. I got a battery issue. Yeah, yeah, I got a battery issue. Cause it died last week for no friggin' reason. Thank God it died at home, but it did die last week, so. Yeah, it's the end. Hey guys, hey, you know what? I'm gonna turn this into a uh, my bike hates me and mail day. That's right, guys, I got a mail day. When I get home, I'll show you what I got. Kind of really wasn't a mail day, but it was a mail day. Um, <laughs> about a month, maybe two, yeah, about two months ago, Iron Man came up to North Bay. We kept messaging back and forth on Facebook, and we just couldn't seem to uh, couldn't seem to, to to meet to meet up to match up there. There's a nice bike. Couldn't seem to meet up. But anyway, he uh, sent us sending something in the mail. I think it's pretty cool. He had relatives in North Bay, which was awesome. Um, instead of sending something in the mail, he actually came by to drop it off. But uh, I wasn't home, so. Um, but, uh, you know, a few weeks after he left, <laughs> his uncle came by and dropped it off. It was a dual purpose mail day. Uh, the first half was uh, a brake flaring tool and a, uh, uh, what do you call it there, uh, a stator for Adam, for vlogging life, for his mower. Friggin' awesome, man. He dropped it off and, uh, you know, mind you, Adam still hasn't taken the flywheel off his for, off his uh, lawn tractor, mind you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's uh, right on, man. The guy actually dropped it off. And part two of that mail day was... Uh, he knew I was working on my car stereo, like on my truck stereo. Well, I was only going to put in just a sub and a sub amp. Well... Now, because of Iron Man, I have to put in a four-channel amp to amp everything else as well. He dropped off an amp. I'll show you this stuff when I get home. Check him out. He's actually uh, a pretty interesting freaking guy, man. He rides bike, and uh, you should see some of the finds. He works at a scrapyard. You should see some of the finds this boy's pulling out of the yard, man. It's freaking sweet as hell. got this monster fan for his garage. 
All it needed was wheels. I tell you, it'd be the friggin' sweetest job. I would friggin', oh my god, I would go broke buying scrap from the friggin' yard every day, man. Go to work, you see some guy bring in a lawn tractor, I guarantee I'd be friggin' sneaking the friggin' tractor out of the friggin' pile every day, man. Alrighty, well I'm back home, and uh, well it's actually a couple days later, finally getting around to it. <laughs> actually been pretty busy. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the mail I was talking about, uh, like I said, it didn't actually come in the mail, kind of got hand-delivered, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, got the amp from Iron Man. He knew I was putting in that, uh, putting the stereo back in the truck there. I was only going to put a sub-amp in, but, uh, way to go, bud. I guess I got to put a four-channel amp in now and amplify everything else to go along with the sub-amp. <laughs> Aw, damn it. <laughs> right on, buddy. Hey, thanks a lot, man. That's really awesome. Uh, everybody, uh, Links down below. Uh, Iron Man's link is down below. Go check it out. Check him out. Uh, you'd be amazed the stuff this guy scrap picks out of the friggin' metal yard, man. Unfreaking real. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. Talk to you later. See you later. Bye.